Hello, I am here in the Makerspace to talk about Adobe Illustrator for vinyl cutting today. So vinyl cutting is used to make stickers and also uh, heat transfers to make custom t-shirts or other items like that. Um, it is also a piece of equipment that uh, will be available for equipment lending coming soon. Um, so we can talk more about that if that's something that is relevant to what you're doing. So um, I want to share a couple pro tips right now, right before we um, go into the um, program to use the vinyl cutter, um, just to just to share a little bit of lessons learned that I've come across uh, using uh, Adobe Illustrator um, and the Cricut machine, which is the vinyl cutter. So I picked up this SVG file, Scalable Vector Graphic, um, online. It was open source, which is awesome. Um, but when I went to, um, to send it to the vinyl cutter, it took forever, I think, to cut out one fist that was about eight inches um, by five inches. It was, it took, oh God, maybe 15 minutes. So that's way too long. This should really be a very simple file. But when I zoom in on it, I can understand a little bit better why that happened. This is comprised of a lot of points of information. So I was telling the machine to move in every single jagged way. Uh, and I didn't need to do that. That's actually really not in my interest. Um, so I don't want that serrated edge. So a pro tip here, under object, path, simplify. We're going to turn on the preview to make sure that we can see that. But this is really cool because um, under curve precision, you can uh, change how much information is in your drawing. Uh, and really this part right here, original and current, is uh, the most revealing thing. I had almost 10,000 points of information in the original file. Um, really what I want is something closer to about 500. In this particular case, that is always going to depend on the uh, the drawing that you are working with. Um, in this case, I think that the fist looks great. It looks exactly how I want it to, but it has a lot less information in it, so the machine is not going to struggle with it. Great, so that is that. One other pro tip. This is really a fun <laughs> workaround. Um, if I have a font here that I like, uh, let's just find one really quickly uh, for the sake of the example. Um, whoop, that didn't actually take. There we go. Okay, great. So a nice strong uh, font that I want to use. You may run into this problem. Cricut, the vinyl cutter program that you're going to use, uh, it does not like outside fonts because it wants to charge you for fonts. Um, that is one way that they make money. And while it may be a good business model, it's something that we can easily work around with access to Adobe Illustrator. So right now we have an editable um, font Right, so we can uh, change this to say different things. Um, but what we want to do is, is make it no longer a font by going into Object, Expand, and we're going to convert it into just shapes, even though, even though we know that it's still saying something. Uh, this is basically a clever workaround. Um, it is no longer editable, but we have worked around the issue that was uh, presenting itself to us. Um, so. That is what we've got. Now, um, under File, we're going to do Save As. And um, the Resist T-shirt file, we want to save that as an SVG, Scalable Vector Graphic, um, because that is the file format that the Cricut program understands. 